Okay, so have you started taking your RMDs? Not sure what RMDs are. Well, Shannon Flowers with Edward Jones Investment is here to tell us all about it. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Now, this is something that, you know, not everybody really understands, but that people really need to know. What exactly is RMD? Well, RMD stands for Required Minimum Distribution. Um, it's something that you have to take if you've reached the age 70 and a half out of a pre-tax retirement account, mm -hmm. such as a traditional IRA, a 403B, 401K. Um, and there's a deadline. That's why this is timely. I don't know about you, yeah. but I want to keep as much of my hard-earned money in my pocket as possible. I don't want to give as, uh, too much to the government. So. Absolutely, because you said that if you don't do it by a certain date, and a, you know, which is a, all these different calculations, but you know, you probably talk to an investment person about that. But then, you know, they're going to take a big chunk of that money. That's correct. There, there is a penalty um, if you don't take the minimum required by the deadline you can incur a 50 percent penalty as well as pay income taxes on that money so um, it's it's very important um, and I know that you're not 70 and a half or anywhere close to it but there are people such uh, around our age yeah. that have inherited an IRA and they have to take the RMDs as well. Absolutely. And so that's one thing to, to point out is that, you know, don't think that this is just for if when you get that, you hit that magic number, but you also need to find out if a loved one does pass away. It's not something necessarily you want to be thinking about at that time. But at the same time, the government will take 50% of it if you don't do something with it. So it's something you need to find out as Ab quickly as possible. Absolutely. And sometimes people have them spread out among mm -hmm. institutions and banks mm -hmm. so it's very important to maybe and, and makes it easier uh, to consolidate it all into one to do the calculation properly to make sure that you are taking that minimum distribution mm -hmm. now you know one thing that I have found as well is that you know you think about it you talk about it but you don't really have that conversation with your parent or your grandparent and so you know to sit down and encourage people to be able to talk about that you know, it's, 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 it's something that's very important. Absolutely. Now, if you have a tax professional or a financial advisor, such as myself, mm -hmm. then they should be contacting you to make sure that you take it because December 31st is the deadline if you have been taking your RMDs regularly. If you've just this year turned 70 and a half, the government does give you a little bit of extra time. Mm -hmm. So you do have until April 1st um, to take that RMD. All right. Well, I know a lot of people are going to be writing your phone number down because they want to learn more about those RMDs. And of course, it's Shannon Flowers, financial advisor, and she's located at 1425 Wellington Circle, Suite B. And the number on your screen, you can contact her 409-860-9995. And of course, Shannon is going to be joining us once a month to discuss investment issues. So if you're interested, you can go to our Facebook page and ask any question that you like, and we'll try to get some questions answered. We'll be right back. You're watching Southeast Texas Live. And of course, thanks so much for joining is great information to know not always something we want to talk about but something we need to address absolutely thanks for having me absolutely